All right, you guys, back to when build today. We're finally able to fit all four uh, solar panels on the top. Uh, we have to kind of uh, uh, adjust everything around and, and uh, um, kind of customize it a little bit in order to fit uh, four between uh, the fan, the front fan and, and the rear. And let me show you how, this is how um, we did it. And just in case you plan to have a four panel like this um, on a 170 with one fan in the front and one fan in the back and fit these panels between, this is how I did it. So looking at from the front, this is the front fan here. Uh, the, the, you got about half an inch gap uh, here between the front fan and we already tested the opening the fan up and down. So this bracket, uh, these two here, we have to uh, fold it down flat and then uh, put a screw from the top instead. And then two screws on, on each uh, bracket, okay? However, on the sides, we have, we have to do it different way. We didn't have to bend that down. Two screws here and then one screw in the, from the front. Uh, kind of good this way because we have one screw on top, screw on the side. There's no way this, uh, this panel is going to go anywhere. It's very tight fit. Okay, one screw on top, one screw on the bottom. Uh, I mean on the side. Okay, let's look at the middle, the, the junction. So here I have two panels sitting on top of the uh, aluminum extrusion here right in the middle to sh uh, share half and half. And then I made this bracket here, uh, putting the two screws between the channels and then uh, two screws on each panel on both sides. And the same as the other side, okay, a, a 90 degree bracket, two screws running in the channel and then two screws screw it to the side of the panels okay so yep this is 90 degrees it's super strong here looking from the back side I have one uh, 10 inch uh, aluminum ankle with two screws running inside of the channel and then three screws into the frame so I have t three screws there and and a two down here which is yep it's very stable and this is uh, how we're gonna set it up Our ceiling this time is going to be the tongue and groove like you see here. They're, they're very light, very light, and it's only uh, 11 of them fit, so it's not that uh, it's not very heavy. Uh, since the ex exterior is black, we want to uh, the in interior to be a light color. Uh, this is not too dark; uh, it's grayish, um, and everything else gonna be white and um, stainless steel appliances and uh, this is what I'm coating it with okay it's um weather gray Just put one coat and wipe it off and kind of have a little bit of grayish into it let's see hopefully it's not too dark but it's gonna look really nice with the um, uh, uh, stainless steel um, uh, LED light so we'll see how it comes out what's up you guys check this out our wood panel is coming along so well and looks so nice uh, not too dark kind of on a, a light side gray uh, with the old uh, wood patterns you still can see it 
and I, I put two uh, coats of the clear coat. It's not that shiny, but just to protect it and it, it still look uh, a little bit uh, glossy, semi-glossy. And uh, this will go really well with our stainless steel look LED light. Let's try it on to see how it looks like. You put the LED light. Oh, look at that. Check that out. It's going to look so beautiful. Yeah. So we're going to have six LED or six or eight LED lights going all the way uh, across to the back. And uh, we're making good progress right here. Um, we short a couple of uh, uh, panels. We need to go back to Home Depot. But anyway... I want to, uh, yeah, end this episode right here. We're going to take a couple of days off um, for a break. It's fall color season. My favorite um, season. We're going to go visit and uh, tour the fall color in the Eastern Sierra again. This is our eight, nine, ten years in a row. Never get tired of it. It's, it's, uh, it's just beautiful out there. So, I uh, hope you enjoy um the video so far and let's uh follow me along to the high elevation eastern sierra it's gonna be 30 something degrees at night and uh what only 60 something in the daytime but it's gonna be nice and clean air see you over there